Hello and welcome to Empire of War Games. This time around we are talking about the craft world of Biel Tan. If you enjoy the content, check out the channel's Patreon if you want to support what I do. Alright, let's get into the video. Alright, so Biel Tan's craft world attribute is called Swordwind. And it says each time a unit with this attribute advances or makes a battle focus move, treat a roll of one or two as a three instead. And each time a unit with this attribute is selected to shoot or fight, you can reroll one hit roll when resolving that unit's attack. All right. So battle focus and basic movement and uh, advances are going to be always at least a three, which is really, really good. Battle focus is more or less active all the time on quite a lot of units, even some unexpected ones. So I really think battle focus is going to be very, very relevant and guaranteeing a three is definitely a nice one to pop out of cover and back in maybe. So yeah, this one actually good. I think people are going to underestimate this one. The second one, each time, uh, you know, you attack with the unit, you get to reroll one hit roll. I think this is weaker than rerolling one wound roll personally, and rerolling one wound roll is uh, accessible via the Ulthe craft world attributes. Uh, so yeah, Bieltan only has two abilities <laughs> in their craft world attribute. Ulthe has four. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what the thinking there was. Generally speaking, of course, uh, Ulthe has a lot of weaker ones, I would say. But yeah. Battle focus, the battle focus thing is what you should be focusing on here. Guaranteeing a three definitely makes Bieltan really, really fast, especially their infantry, especially their, uh, you know, banshees and so on. So yeah, this one seems to be strong. All right, next up, we have the Warlord trait Natural Leader. In your command phase, you can select one friendly Bieltan core unit within six inches of the Warlord until the end of the turn each time a model in that unit makes an attack you can reroll the hit roll this is basically the chapter master rule it is always good it's always going to be good if you look at the craft world attribute of bieltan you obviously can reroll one hit roll each time a unit attacks no matter what it's army wide so it doesn't stack up as nicely as you know a reroll to wound rolls but you have some units that you just want to hit no matter what and if they are core you're placing your warlord next to them and you're rerolling everything. I really like this one. This is going to be used unless the other Warlord traits are insanely strong. So yeah, the Warlord trait is actually A+. Next up, we have the Relic, the Spirit Stone of Anathlan. It reads Bieltan Psyker model only, and the Baron knows one additional psychic power from their chosen discipline, so no restrictions here, which is nice. And once per psychic phase, you can reroll one psychic test taken for the Bearer. Both really good. I prefer this one compared to the other one. And yeah, I just think this one is going to be really, really strong. Uh, you are going to run far seers mo most likely or any type of psyker and having access to this one will be nice. There's really nothing more to say about this one. It's just straight up solid. And last but not least, we have the craft world stratagem, Wrath of the Shrines. For one CP, use the stratagem in your shooting phase or the fight phase when a Bieltan aspect warrior unit from your army is selected to shoot or fight. Until the end of the phase, each time a model in that unit makes an attack, an unmodified hit roll of 6 scores one additional hit. Obviously, Bieltan are focused on aspect warriors, uh, at least from a lore perspective, and this stratagem makes sense from a fluff perspective. I'm not sure the volume of attacks of most craft worlds. I think especially um, striking scorpions and banshees have a very high volume of attacks. So scoring additional hits on these is going to be very, very strong. Um, I'm not sure if you are going to use the stratagem on dark reapers, or, but dark reapers have been nerfed so severely that I don't think they are going to see play outside of narrative or uh, casual games. So yeah. Wrath of the Shrines, probably going to see more use on melee aspect warriors than range aspect warriors. That is my prediction. That is what I think. But yeah, all in all, the stratagem seems fine, but nothing mind-blowing. So yeah, when looking at the craft world of Bieltan, I think my first impressions are very positive. The, you know, fixed or predictable battle focus roles are very nice. 
the Relic and the Warlord trade are both very strong and are probably going to see use a lot. And the stratagem is fine. I, I don't think it's going to be anything you are going to cast every single turn, but it, it will see niche use cases. All in all, I think Deltan is one of the stronger craft worlds and I'm excited to see what people can conjure up when it comes to lists focusing on the Beltan craft world. All right, I hope this was insightful. If you enjoy what I do, consider checking out the channel's Patreon to support what I do. All right, I see you in the next one. Bye-bye.